Good morning. Good morning. This weekend has been fun, 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 but busy, 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 and no sleep. No sleep. <laughs> Two nights in a row, actually, we stayed up late to get the vlog edited so that it would be up early in the morning because we have two early mornings, Saturday and Sunday. But and by on. the looks of us, we're going to we're the going. beach. <laughs> we're total tourists. Yeah. Um, um, we're going to beach. We're going to St. Pete's today. It's Chelsea's yeah. favorite beach, I think. Yeah. Uh, we're on I-4 now driving out to Lakeland, Lakeland. where Chelsea and Cole live. So we'll we be Chelsea, Kristen, Cole, and Ben, which... We haven't said anything because we're too excited, but it's still not super soon. But our friends. Should we say it right now? Yeah. Our friends Ben and Matt are moving back to Florida. And the thing is. is like, like Matt Carl. Matt Carl. Matt Carl and Sarah and Peter Brookhart have not lived in Florida together since, since 2012. 2012 for yeah, the summer. For the summer. But Matt lived with us in Chicago for the last like two years. Yeah, he finished his schooling up there and then he stayed there and he was there for like our wedding. Right, and it was amazing to have like one of because we lived our life like our best friends were all in different states because of our college program. But then Matt, after two years in 2014 or 15, moved up to Chicago to finish school and we were we had him. He was ours. Yeah. He was with us in Chicago. And then we decided to move. Then we decided to, Florida. to move. And then he, he wanted to move out to New York. Mm -hmm. But Life's bringing him, him and Ben back down to Florida. I can't believe we haven't said it yet because it's it just been real, so, though. yeah. Oh my gosh. So get ready for that in the coming months. Um, so Ben is already back down um, and Matt will probably, he's finishing up a couple of design jobs up in New York and he'll be down by like September. For August or September time. Yeah. Cole's over here struggling, but he's a born and raised Polk County boy, so he knows how to drag a cooler through the sand. Yeah, if you haven't done this before... Then you're doing something wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> and we got here probably 10 minutes before the girls. Look at this. There's nobody here. That's why this is the best spot. This is great. What beach are we at? Uh, Treasure Island. Treasure Island Beach. We got Ben. He just moved back this week, Ooh. and so we had to bring him back to the beach. Great. Better than that New York weather? Much better. Now, Matt, we need you to get down here faster than September, all right? Beach looks good. We gotta sunblock it up. We have our little pod getting set up here before the girls get here. Got our cool of our food and snacks. Cole's got some fancy. Is this new? Yep. It looks new. Got it it, and it looks like you can lay it down. You can. Wow. Head pad, if you want to lay face down. Oh. Cup holder. It's got the whole nine. Yeah. You're living big now. Yeah, right. Is this your, this looks like it's been used many years. Is this yours too? Uh, that's Chelsea's. So, and, yeah. this is how you live when you're Chelsea. Way to go, Chelsea. And this is how you live when you're Cole. <laughs> Who wins? It's like you're matching, too. You got the red, oh. red bag, the red, red, red. It's not my first time. <laughs> Just don't make your face match. I know, yeah, that's the only thing you don't want. That's what we got here. Boom. The girls showed up. They finally made it. Oh, really, all we wanted was Kristen. Chelsea and Sarah. Look at this this cool bathing suit though. This was Sarah's dad's. I've never been able to fit into it before. Fancy. And I got good news and bad news. I brought a bunch of cool stuff for like the gimbal and the night kind of get far away shots with like that barge and try to get some cool gimbal shots, which was good because I didn't bring the GoPro memory mm -hmm. card. So no right. footage today, sorry guys. It's okay. Hi guys. Hey. Yeah, we actually just gave the news in the vlog today about Matt and Ben. We like hadn't said anything and I was like, holy smoke. And guess we what? We haven't said anything. What? He's right there. <gasps> I don't know if Peter filmed him at all while they were in the car. But we're at the beach. Me and Kristen and Ben are letting our sunscreen soak in a little bit. We are responsible. Yes. Um, but yeah, we're just we're just chilling. Peter forgot, they're already out there. Peter forgot the GoPro, but. Oh, it's gonna find treasure today. Treasure hunt. It is called Treasure Island. I know. Beach that used to be my favorite thing. I wow. Think. They're digging. They're digging, guys.
Anyway, just a little little insert here into the B-roll. Um, been having a good time. It's, it's, it's like perfectly warm. Like it's hot, the sand's real hot. The water, when we, we've only been to the beach twice since we've moved here. And the other time, we'll put the link over here, was back in the fall, like I think September, so maybe a month, month and a half, after we moved here, it was the clear water. The water wasn't the best, the, the water temperature was cold, it was very crowded. Look at this beach, nobody's here. There's only a handful of clouds in the sky. The water is literally, I never knew what like Chelsea, Chelsea's a beach girl. She moved here because of Disney, but her end game is to be by the beach. And I never like fully understood that, and my mom's always preached about the beach life and wanting to live by the beach. I never understood that until literally today. Like it is so comfortable and gorgeous and amazing. You've got the shells, the animals, the people. It's so comfortable, it's just relaxing. You've got cool stuff like this, which is in it like a protected sea, sea turtle nest. So there's eggs in there that will hatch and some percentage of them will make it to the, the Gulf of Mexico. Then one day they'll return to this beach to have their offspring. It's just a good relaxing day. I know it's like the, not the most exciting vlog. I'm trying, I'm having a lot of fun getting the B-roll. I have the gimbal, our cell phone's on the gimbal, which is on a selfie stick, so it's extended, so I can be, have good footing on the beach while I try to get the camera as close as I can to the wave. My cell phone got splashed a little bit, but more so when I had a time lapse set up with the cell phone, I went out there with the Nikon, our long distance camera, and I was like actually in the water with it, trying to get good waves, and it just got pummeled with a wave. And I don't know how it didn't like break, turn off right away, but we're in low tide, so literally there's like this, this bit of water here, this hill of sand, and then the waves. I was, I don't know if we'll get to use it yet, but I was over here, like real down low, like this, but so much closer, was so much closer with our Nikon, and I wasn't paying attention because I was also keeping an eye on the cell phone that was like up the shore so nobody grabbed it, and just got boom with a wave. And I looked down, I felt the water rush over my hands, I was like, oh no. Nikon camera just got engulfed with water really quick. Um, but it seems okay, I ran out, dried it off. I'm gonna get out there, it's real hot. Everyone else has been out there for a while. I gotta get out there. It's a rough night for the Brooke Cart project. I'm having an allergic reaction. Um, I don't know if it was to Chelsea's cat or if it's from Eve. Um, so I just took some allergy medicine. Peter's also not feeling so well. He's asleep. We were supposed to go to the Top of the World Lounge tonight with Gem Sessions, but it just won't be happening. And to top it all off, our camera got sand in it. And right now the lens is not working. So, we'll see what happens with that, because that's our main camera, it's our Canon G7X, so um, Peter's usually good about figuring out the technology um, and whatnot, so maybe he can fix it, but I'm really hoping we won't have to buy a new camera. So I'm actually not sure how this vlog is going to look today, um, we recorded on all different types of cameras um, and now I don't know about the G7X but right now all I'm doing is watching a series of unfortunate events I'm just one of those people that I can't be multitasking while watching a new show like I need to watch every minute of it that's why Peter makes fun of me for restarting the series so many times um, but I'm finally just able to like sit and watch it um, so I'm almost done with season one which like I don't binge watch Netflix ever because we always have something to do. Um, but today, because we're home and I already have the vlog, like the vlog went up today and I'll be able to edit this vlog tomorrow. Um, it's nice to just have a relaxing night. Alrighty, that clock is not wrong. It's 10.30, I just fell asleep on the couch. Peter's been asleep. He says he wouldn't be mad if he slept all night and end ended his weekend like that. Um, I will update you tomorrow on the fate of our camera for now. We'll be on an iPhone. Um, it's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>